Okay, welcome to the June uh, Long Spoon, the Alchemical Read Long Spoon. Um, here we are. Can you believe it's June 2023 already? And this is the Tabletop Conversation with Robert. Susane. Sandra. Susan. And Christina. There you go. And we are talking this month about, um, let's see. About the red thread. The red thread. Yeah. I think we thought we were first, you, know, you kind of get an eye, you get, get an idea of things that are appropriate and wanting to share or what you're mm-hmm. inside of deeply. Mm-hmm. And we've been in the middle of working with the, what we call the the garden blueprint. Mm-hmm. We, and, um, Very timely for spring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, we realized that we had to rebuild, we were building uh, a more efficient uh, garden fencing around the garden, mm-hmm. but it became um, really working with, like everything about the red thread coming into the garden itself. Mm-hmm. We've Becoming always physical. Had, yeah, physical. From, yeah, mm-hmm. really, from the ethers to mm-hmm. the, to the emotional body to the physical body, all manifesting into the mm-hmm. garden That's of the true. red thread. And and I think we didn't, we've always had red picket fences. Mm-hmm. And a red picket fences are very protective. But we really didn't think of them in any other kind of way. Mm. And But the whole usage of red throughout our work has been a constant. Mm-hmm. And we never really, we work intuitively where the colors go, so we just put them in. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like a planned thing. It was an awareness of listening and of connection to uh the whole embodiment mm-hmm. of our life and our work. And so we, when we started working with deepening the, the garden of the red thread, I mean the garden and mm-hmm. redoing the picketing, we realized that on that side of the garden, in the garden plan, it was more mercurial. And, yeah. and in that space, um, we had looser fencing because um, they're very expensive mm-hmm. and we needed tighter fencing. And it's it they create an oh we need tighter because of the mercurial part of the uh of the garden plan mm-hmm. needed uh there were lots of things in the mercurial that park there mm-hmm. and they're not really part of the plan mm-hmm. they're more uh you can't really see them completely you're not as much aware of them um. Things are kind of parked there that are not your property. Yeah, they're taking up space. In mm-hmm. there. Exactly. Yeah. And so this year in the garden plan, just like this year in this world, we had to evaluate uh, mm-hmm. the uh, that complexity of the material and create a safe space. Mm-hmm. And um, it's kind of like what's happening in the world where there's a country like Russia who does not work with the red thread, but um, works with um, owners owning mm-hmm. property, other mm-hmm. people's property. Like Russia parks in the material part of the side of the garden plan, and then it's like um, it's like protecting fighting fire with fire, mm-hmm. and um, it's like in the world. Uh, Russia is uh, parking in all these different countries. Yes, mm-hmm. it's parking uh, where in the material part of their countries, where they really don't quite know what their assets are in that mm-hmm. place, mm-hmm. and it is able to claim assets that haven't already been claimed, and it it's a real journey for a country to claim that part of themselves, Mm -hmm. the part of the property of themselves that they weren't quite sure what was all there. Mm -hmm. And and the whole thing is when a country decides to become sovereign, it has to it has to do that. Mm -hmm. And all at once what's parked under there starts coming up. Yeah. And then they start realizing that that something's owning them. And it's like, you know, Russia has really all at once trying to own their sides. Mm-hmm. And and it was like, it was pretending like it wasn't, it was malign, uh, not malign and or malignant. It pretended like it was just kind of a, mm-hmm. a benign, benign thing. Mm-hmm. And then all at once, you know, it's not benign at all. Mm-hmm. So 
we've been working with that in the garden plan and so this long spoon all at once um it became much more it became more than just working on the on the garden of the red thread it became the the potency of the red thread throughout our life and our work and that we have been our work is about the potency of the red thread and it's throughout everything and it kind of brought together to us uh in doing this this spoon all the areas that Mm. we've worked with the red thread from the beginning and all the beans that we we draw and paint and work with are beans that work with specifically the red thread yeah and you could trace the the red thread back to, mm-hmm. to the beginning. So it's the lineage of the red thread that, that we see your life that you create from. And it's a feminine lineage. Mm-hmm. And our work is about the reclamation of that feminine lineage. Mm-hmm. So that's where it just started out. Mm. And we all just reviewed this. Mm-hmm. and um, Before we send it out. Yeah, before we send it out. And um, You're going to love it because it's, it's a building. There's a lot in it. Mm-hmm. And it builds. It builds an awareness of uh, a pattern, awareness of the red thread in your lives, and the awareness of, of building a place for that kind of consciousness. Mm-hmm. The Garden of the Red Thread is a con- uh, we've been building a place for that consciousness. Yeah. Of, uh, so, I um, love how you captured, like, how you've gathered over the past 30 plus years. And all your your artwork and everything, you've gathered that in this long spoon, and mm-hmm. you could see it from the imprincial patterns, which have been around for over thirty years, mm-hmm. and then into the very new collages and new pieces and and everything. So that's pretty pretty cool journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to look Red back is, and yeah, to see how been a part even in the very beginning of your work intuitively it was there and you didn't even know it or really recognize yeah. it or understand mm-hmm. what it was. But in the retrospect going back and looking at what it has been there, it has truly been a thread and a red thread that has been entered and part of um, a mark inside of all of your work, whether it be um, paintings, collages, photography, um, and the light and princeal patterns. That that really struck me looking at this, uh, looking at all the light and princeal patterns that show so clearly all the different aspects of how the red thread works, how it actually penetrates our systems and the fields that have imprinted us um, in a reversed way and and seeing how um, and then how you showed the picture of, of the auger using the uh, red auger mm-hmm. in the garden to dig to, <laughs> to be able to plant mm-hmm. our posts that are creating our our safety border um, that 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 is actually the, a beautiful image to actually see how the light and princeal patterns work. They that take they, on those they, energies. Yeah, mm-hmm. that they use that kind of an auger um, energy. To dismantle the patterns. Exactly. And limited Thank you. belief yeah. systems. Yeah, and to penetrate. And yeah. yeah, and cool. and how that looks and how yeah. all the different um, angles of it, the different mm-hmm. ways that it moves, the way it shifts, how it disengages things that have had you in its grasp you know, um, and things that just won't let go, um, and patterns and vibrations that your your soul is trying to be free of. It's just really cool. Mm-hmm. So I was I was really impressed, and mm-hmm. it was just so cool about how it was all unfolding. And as the words you said, it built the whole. So it's yeah. worth taking the time through the long spoon mm-hmm. at different times where as what whatever amount of time that you have um, to just sit with any pieces of it so that you can allow that build to um, inform you. Oh, that's wonderful. And the videos yeah. really are yeah. Yeah. an awesome visual to <laughs> capture, <laughs> capture yeah, that fun, whole experience. And, and we've done uh, two flip books, mm-hmm. one that uh, specifically works with the, the, red, the Garden of the Red Thread, and then the next one is the follow-up of that. Mm-hmm. And... 
and we put both of them in. I think that people will love it because it goes into the detail of the garden of the red thread uh, imagery. And I don't think we had put on the audios, but in it we talk about um, the, the the magical when you begin uh, working with an, a universal and friends heal pattern. It's quite a journey, yeah. and and you don't get the whole thing at once. You get it right. in these like little blocks. Uh-huh. It, it's kind of like a chocolate bar that's divided up. <laughs> yeah. You get this piece and then that piece, and that and familiar. you have to eat it up. And <laughs> and so it's been a big and long, intense process since mm-hmm. spring. And but the beautiful gift we got in the middle of all of this was this this. Uh, realization that in the garden of the red thread there is a sanctuary Mm -hmm. and the temple space that we've had for years that we really never named um becomes the uh the uh olgum tree sanctuary Mm -hmm. garden and temple uh, Mm -hmm. sanctuary and temple and we didn't have that we didn't even Mm -hmm. know that existed Uh -uh. Uh, we even did art for it and it's it's in the pictures but it's uh, Robert and I are going to try to do a little tour with it, and mm-hmm. that it is it is awesome because we've had a Dakini uh, there for she was over in the Bear Garden. Now she's over. She's been over here for two or three years, and this the Sanctuary Garden, and we um, we didn't know who she, what Dakini she represented, and then one day all at once I had pulled a card and who she was was there mm-hmm. uh-huh. and she was her name was um oh can you all say Maritza. 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 Mm-hmm. and she is the Dakini of eternal light mm-hmm. and in her presence is in that sanctuary mm-hmm. and uh she is uh the eternal and then all at once we were working with um to change our um, our web system, and all at once, it just kind of magically, these <clears throat> people came and they it really speeded up our system immensely, and uh, but they were like, there was something real different about these men that came and worked with the system, and um, they were tall, but most of all they were they were more uh. uh conscious Mm -hmm. and their consciousness included a quantum physics and included quantum awareness uh they were aware of uh of the ogums and the flower essences and uh, and then each one came out what did you say baby homeopathics too and homeopathics Mm -hmm. and each one came out individually to talk to us about how much they loved um, the art in our home. They thought it was a little funky, but that was fat, absolutely what they, liked they liked about it, what they liked. Mm-hmm. And they loved the garden. And they came out into the garden, into the sanctuary, because that's where we were, to tell us that. And we just thought it was it was like three different times. For internet guys, you know, you're thinking, how, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and and they, it's a new fiber optics. And so... Uh, the system we did have, it was like towards afternoon we started not getting connections and all kinds of things. So w- when Robert they came and talked to us about it, um, that was the first guy that said he knew he was interested in quantum, and he's very interesting. And we signed up, but that same day they were there putting it in, and we hadn't even done anything pay- paid or anything. And they just knew that that's what we needed. And then the next day, the men, other men came out and they started putting it in. And um, it was kind of magical. And we realized when they when, when they left, one of the men said to us, as he was going out the gate, of, and they knew they were in the Garden of the Red Thread, he said, now, he said, you have infinite, e- infinite light. <laughs> and that is the goddess She's How the goddess often of do infinite people light. Like that say yeah. Infinite light. And it was the just internet cable guy now. Yeah. Say that you have infinite light. It was like, oh my God. And then we looked at each other and started laughing <laughs> because we realized that they were the men of Neath. Yeah. 
-hmm. We've drawn the men of knees, and they've been in lots of collages. And you and, put it in this long spoon, too. You'll see them. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and you'll see them, and they are... The the men of Neith are underneath the goddess, the Egyptian goddess Neith, who mm -hmm. the internet was really named, named mm -hmm. for. And uh, she is a massive weaver, and um, I've dreamt of her. And uh, she has uh, had me follow her down a hall, and she had uh, patterns, we woven patterns all over her, down training after mm -hmm. her. And then she went into a room... And and I went after her, and in the room, I, the whole room was covered with patterns, the floor and the ceiling and the walls. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's my first visitation with her. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we did the Men of Neath. Mm -hmm. And these, we realized we, we were visited by the Men of Neath. Yeah. And that was so magical. Mm -hmm. I love to live that kind of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. whole thing was so incredible. And the card itself, we might have talked about it at another time, but that very card about the infinite light had something about an auger in it. Oh, that's right. Which was like, what? It's, it said oh, yeah, the goddess yeah. the said the that auger. this augurs a time augurs for change. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 oh it, yeah. it was yeah. in the same paragraph. I mean, it was, just, it was so connected, it couldn't <laughs> have been more perfect. <laughs> and the funny thing was that because we painted, we had these posts and they were four inches of square, and of course everything's red, and we couldn't rent an auger anywhere around here. We were everywhere trying to where could we get an auger. And then we had to then we had to look at actually buying an auger, which was like ridiculous, but we couldn't get the fences in. Mm -hmm. And so finally we just said we'll just bite the bullet. Let's just get the auger. So we get a good auger and it comes in and and it's red. <laughs> It's the most beautiful thing. It's it's like this red thread penetrating through the ground, and, and you watch it over and over again, and that's what the red thread does. Yeah. And uh, it it's just. Uh, and it was so specific. And we couldn't just. We had to buy it. Because it had to be four inches. Yes. Right around. And because of the posts. Four dirt deep. It was mm -hmm. all connected. With the consciousness. With, with that. With the garden. Yeah, because we've been talking about all at once it just came in. The consciousness was four dirt deep. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really know what that, you know, completely what that meant. And then we had to get the auger that had the number four and attachment. And the posts were four inches. And the posts mm -hmm. were four inches. It was like all inches. of it was like... It, it, and if you watch the video, all the little auger, the spins, I don't know what you call them, but spirals, spirals they go down about four spirals mm. to go into the ground. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really, it was really specific um, equation. It's really cool. And the boys came and helped us with it. And and Ethan was all dressed in red that day. And oh, wow. we were all, it was just amazing. It was a magical day when we put those in. Well, you got great footage in the long spoon. Yes. Of and, all those uh -huh. collages, and you and, capture that really beautifully. And we take everybody through all the different levels mm -hmm. uh, that that red thread, all the way down to the patterns mm -hmm. and how they are an, they are an auger. They're a red thread auger. Mm -hmm. Did and you painting, all love that? And painting the red, I, was so, I felt so deeply inside of painting mm -hmm. the red, mm -hmm. and it was like very meditative. Yeah, but it was very much like for like a month of it painting. It was. I mean, it was a real. Oh, it was intense. You know, and it was. It was. And you did a beautiful I, job on them. Well, we got a great we, red. All, you know. And Sandra and Suzanne, yeah, did it too. In the beginning too, and it was just, it just was amazing, and it's just stunning. The Everybody with was. The red thread. Then we were planting all the seeds and getting them yeah. ready at the same time, right. and and before we got the posts and the things. We painted everything in the garden, the temples and everything. Right. Got you painted all of those, and you all went around and painted the different, you know, mm -hmm. shelves and things. Yeah. It was intense. We were all just and in you're all only the different angles. A couple of weeks, huh? Yeah, we're only it's talking in a couple of month. weeks. Yeah, that we started yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was right after. Mother That's a lot of intensity <laughs> of the pulse. Right. Yeah. 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 It really yeah. was. I know I, and you keep Oops. have talked about as you were sharing the long spoon with us that the whole purpose of this 
long spoon was to show how the red thread has been building, building and building and building this sanctuary, gar this garden. Yes. And as you were talking about it, I kept thinking about that so many of the um, photographs that you've taken and put into collages, you've talked about the pickets being needles. Like a needle. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's real. I love needles because I love sewing. But I also got the vision the other day of sitting outside of the pickets. Because each day there's a new red thing. There's a new thing in the garden. There's a new concept that you've seen, new inside a new part of the plan. Uh -huh. And that's like weaving. It's like, oh. you know, like this red thread is, is busy as heck in this garden. <laughs> I mean, she's just going and she go over here and say, now you're going to do this. Now you're going to put this over here and that's going to be red and this is going to be red. So Red doors, red tables, red, yeah, red, red, red steps. Every, you know, things. And then you're just surrounded with it. So I loved how you red tied pencil. that in with the long spoon, the mm -hmm. whole you know, as we went down the, oh, thank you. the presentation was, look how this is built. This this keeps building and building. It's almost building. like you started with the, the needle, uh, the uh, where you put the thread through, and then we keep going down until it's at the point of the needle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you're just constantly. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's more to come because we haven't got everything. Oh, no. Well, all the it's work. so, it's so interesting to see. <laughs> it's, it's so interesting to see also <clears throat> all the s aspects of what the red thread is. It's like it's so it's it's penetrational and needling, like you said, weaving things, mm -hmm. and then and then it's so much about connectivity, and and then yes. and that's why I think um, you know all this happened with the internet and moving to the fiber optics mm -hmm. during the same time period where we're doing all of this because it's all about you know finding these connections and the connectivity um the mycelial network that's flowing through the garden mm -hmm. so um visibly and invisibly and um just seeing like if you enter the garden gate and your eye goes all the way back to the back of the garden there is just this, this red creates this connecting thread from piece to piece to area and area oh, of the wonderful. garden plan. It's like what you've done throughout the long spoon. Like you can, exactly. follow, you can follow where the right. So it's is. just, mm -hmm. it's just fascinating to see how, how the different aspects, like I said, it's like the connectivity as well as the penetrational aspect, um, the weaving aspect. Um, oh, the planting of seeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. so and they the change every year. Which yeah. Ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and we did that happening. during this time. Yeah. While you were painting, we were planting the <laughs> I mean, seeds. Yeah. Intensive, intensively. You and they're all germinating and yeah. up now. And mm -hmm. it's it's really, uh, I think I love this because I love the record of it. I told Robert I'd like to make a book of this one. Mm. Because it's really an archive of mm -hmm. oh, yes. of yes. the past of this the red thread and how part of it our yeah. life, right. yeah. and and how um, how it's like you say a part of everything connecting mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. it's it's not just the the thread and the threading of the thread mm -hmm. through the the eye of the needle. Then it's also the power of the penetration, and that's mm -hmm. what that augurs about is how mm -hmm. much speed. Yeah. How much power do you need? How many mm -hmm. quantums mm -hmm. does one need to get it to penetrate through mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. it yeah. shows you all at once the quantums of the imprensial patterns mm -hmm. and how they're very specific oh, yeah. to what they're working with mm -hmm. in the in the body patterns mm -hmm. of limitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how fast change. they work. The imprensial patterns work so fast. Like fiber optics work so fast. Oh my gosh, you're you know? right. So they like are both an, an increased accelerated rate, speed rate. Yeah. Like instantaneously fast. Well, and it's, it's so fascinating connection. that you're saying that because this morning, Christina and I <clears throat> got the Firefly Illuminary, the fluorescence um, accelerated assimilation. Mm. And we were both talking about the fact, or also realizing through this whole month, 
you know, that you all been doing so much of the outside work, but I've been working a lot with the assimilation to support mm -hmm. the changes well, we're, that we're happening while everybody's working in the garden. And, and it's been really interesting to watch the types of foods that we've needed, how quickly we've needed to assimilate, um, how, you know, just staying on top of making sure grounding. that there was grounding foods and foods that lifted spirits, mm -hmm. you know, when you're weary and comforting foods as well as foods that, and there were times when we were working with things where everything needed to be really light and not heavy mm -hmm. foods because you're working too hard with the other mm -hmm. physical pieces you needed light food. You didn't want you the know. auger to shake up your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and it, but it so it was just interesting to watch that paralleling this this work in the garden plan with the weaving of the red thread was the acceleration mm -hmm. of the assimilation needed for yeah. that, yeah. and it's like everything got sped up during this month mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. menu was very specific yeah too. and putting up all the all the corners of with the fencing and stuff and finding it everything speeds up in corners energetically mm -hmm. and so as we would approach those during days of work where there were corners that were being worked on or built or repaired or whatever whatever energy came up during that time had to be mm -hmm. assimilated yes. and work through emotionally and then have food that supported that. Yes. So it's been a really, really cool collaboration. Collab yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a good way to say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very much about living uh, every moment in time mm -hmm. and having a life mm -hmm. where um, you're actually, it is a simple everyday life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm that we work with because that's that's the most that's where the most potential is yeah. mm -hmm. the more you can use it in your life um the more potential you have yeah. and and so if you have a life that lets you be aware of it more then you are going to be capable of assimilating a lot more right. in a short amount of time yeah and so it's it's like we're living more inside of that in our everyday life so a lot of things we show are simple things like, mm -hmm. you know, hammering a screw into, you know, into the wood or cooking rolling or, or, yeah. huh? Rolling or painting. the paint. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, or painting a piece or, uh, working with the flowers in the garden and watering Soil them and all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of it has meaning. And I think our work is about that. Yeah. It's for dirt deep. You don't have mm -hmm. any part of your life. That it isn't. that doesn't auger that kind of depth. Yeah, yeah. Well said. And you've really like, been talking a lot in the alchemical minds this month too about, on a daily basis, just talking about how you do. That's how you build consciousness and build um, presence in yourself. Is that everydayness and being inside of it, being awake inside of it, and it's. It sounds so simple, but it is not to oh. be awake in your every moment and and embrace what comes up in the everydayness of what you're going through. And some days it's hell on wheels and it's chaotic and unsettling and you feel disturbed and despaired and all of those And you're things. living with other people. And you're living right. with yeah. other people watching you go through it and then... <laughs> And then other moments, it's just the most amazing bliss and joy and connectivity, you know, feeling mm -hmm. like everything's mm -hmm. click, click, click. And, um, and, and it's that everyday changes that Awareness. being, being mm -hmm. aware mm -hmm. of it, being awake to it, being willing to embrace it, being able to recognize and register it. That, and then all of a sudden you look back on your day, your life, your week, your month, and you realize how much you've accumulated, what you have built in your consciousness because of those moments of being awake to it. And it's And that's how you become planetary. Yeah. And that's how you become galactic mm. and universal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. I never understood that before and it's so true. That's that's the auger mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For dirt deep is when you become universal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. This has been Sandra, did you have anything? I'm just <laughs> I've just enjoyed all of this conversation. Mm -hmm. Um I 
guess I'm just, I am, um, I'm just thrilled with what has evolved. And I keep going back to two weeks. That's a very short period. It is. I can't hardly believe I mean, that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The day after Mother's Day, we went and bought plants, and we didn't even have the fences yet. Oh, my God. I mean, that's two weeks ago. And oh, how I much, didn't even realize it's only... But, but it has been a pleasure building. It's not been um, a forced creation. You know, some people, sometimes you can get in a... And it's just, you know, like she said, hell on wheels trying to get it done. Every day has been mapped out through the garden plan. And but it has felt dangerous. Dangerous, mm -hmm. yes. And and as but, we move through yeah. it's felt we've had a lot of press mm -hmm. um uh from um the boundary lines. Mm -hmm. And uh we were living with a smaller picture of our boundary lines mm -hmm. and this has opened it up. And our boundary lines are much more than we thought. Yeah. And and we claimed them, but with a generosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we allowed a, a much larger access to uh, a neighbor that we, it's really, she's selling her property. And and uh, she was a bit hysterical about it. Mm -hmm. And we had to work with her with that hysteria about um, trying to get her property sold you know, at, at so she could leave, and uh, at the same time, um, we didn't. We wanted new fencing, but we did not have the money for that. Mm -hmm. And then the miracle of her having fencing stored and selling to us very cheap, and then that pushed us into <laughs> that was great. But then the other things that went with it, yeah. all the paint and and uh, the the oh, buy-in, uh, the posts and. And then the auger, it was like, oh, my God. And and we couldn't have done it without buying our own auger. Mm -hmm. I couldn't understand why that would be important. You know, I mean, you just use it to put up your post, although we realize now it'll go in the garden. Oh, yeah. It'll do things. It's very handy. But why? Why would we have to extend ourselves? And then we saw the auger, and then we said, wow. Now that's it. Very funny, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's been an amazing journey. Did anybody else have that was, any closing? That was this amazing. Was great. Robert, hope you all enjoy. Enjoy, right, no. enjoy the lungs. Enjoy spin. your lung spoon. Yes. yes. Take yeah. the time to it's go very through generous. it. Step into the pulse of life. Yeah, and revisit it throughout the month. Throughout the month. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support. We are very grateful for that, and then we can continue to. Um, share content with all of you. So that's it for this uh, tabletop conversation of June and enjoy uh, the this issue this month.